So in this video, I will be sharing the Nifty weekly option strategy. So I will be sharing two different strategies that you can implement uh, tomorrow once the market opens that is the 11th of April 2022. The 11th of so before going to uh, April 2022 till uh, the 14th of April 2022. So on Monday that is tomorrow uh, April 11th here we have two important events the FI plus pro they are long by 62% in the index futures which is the nifty future bank nifty future and uh, in the uh, resistance so you can uh, consider taking trade once the uh, support or resistance is successfully uh, broken tomorrow so the support level stands at 17696 levels Hi friends, welcome to Nifty Premier uh, YouTube channel. So in this video, I will be sharing the Nifty weekly option strategy. So I will be sharing two different strategies that you can implement uh, tomorrow once the market opens that is the 11th of April 2022. So before going to the strategies, let me share the uh, weekly level support and resistance for next week. So last week we saw that the uh, high was at 17,944 low at 17,656 levels. So for next week on weekly basis 17,656 will remain the support and 17,944 will be the resistance. And also here we can see that next week we can expect uh, around 900 uh, around uh, 900 points movement in the weekly on the nifty future on the weekly basis. So now let us also see the high impact economic calendar events for uh, the 11th of uh, April 2022 till uh, the 14th of April 2022. So on Monday that is tomorrow uh, April 11th here we have two important events. So the first event is uh, occurring at 7 a.m. Indian Standard Time. So this is the inflation rate for uh, the China and the second one is at 11.30 a.m. GDP month on month for United Kingdom and on uh, Tuesday April 12th we have first event at 7 a.m. the NAB business confidence for the month of March followed with unemployment rate for the month of February climate count change for the uh, month of March and followed with the ZUW economic sentiment index and the uh, core inflation rate year on year and the inflation rate so these two events are uh, quite important which will be occurring during the evening time in the Indian standard timings and on Wednesday we can see that at morning 6 a.m. we have the Westpac consumer confidence index followed with the uh, same Westpac consumer confidence change and balance of trade for the month of March inflation rate year on year for the month of March uh, the uh, PPI month on month for the month of March followed with the bank of uh, followed with the Bank of Canada interest rate decision and the Bank of Canada monetary policy support. So the uh, final one at the uh, Thursday, April 14th. First one is the unemployment rate and the ECB interest rate decision followed with the retail sales month on month and the Michigan consumer sentiment drill. So these are the uh, high impact events, the economic calendar events occurring for uh, next week. So you need to make note of all these important events. This could give a, a Indian market, there could be a trend change when the, uh, in the event result is out. So you need to be careful with your position. So now let us also see the uh, open interest data analysis. So this is the 8th of April 2022. This is the uh, last week of uh, the last Friday, which was the last week trading day of last week. So here we can see that the FI plus pro they are long by 62% in the index futures which is the nifty future bank nifty future and uh, in the uh, option index call long they are long by 49% but whereas in the option index put options they are long by 55%. So here I am assuming that the uh, FI plus proprietors they are bullish in the market due to which if we observe the same data for the 7th of April 
the FIA plus operators they were holding 59% long but on 8th of April they have increased to 62% so here we can see almost 3% increase in their uh, holdings or in the index future options in the index futures and in the call options here we can see that they are long by 49% but on uh, 7th of April they were long by 48% and finally with the uh, put options they are long by 55% and on uh, 7th of April they were long by 57% so here we can see 2% reduction in the put options and the 1% uh, increase in the call options so the overall sentiment uh, I am saying this could be the bullish signal for the Monday market opening we can also possibly we can see a gap up in the nifty and bank so friends right now we are on the uh, nifty future 15 minutes time frame so this is for the intraday traders i'll be sharing the uh, support and resistance so you can uh, consider taking trade once the uh, support or resistance is successfully uh, broken tomorrow so the support level stands at 17696 levels and resistance at 17950 uh, seven level so suppose if uh, the nifty future crosses above uh, 17957 levels then we can see a target of up to 18157 levels and suppose if nifty future crosses the support of 17696 levels then we can see a target of 17577 levels so you can make a note of these important levels for the intraday trade for 11th of april 2020 so friends right now uh, this will be the first the nifty option strategy that i'll be explaining the long call butterfly for the weekly expiry of 13th of april 2022 so to implement this strategy first you need to uh, buy uh, 17650 call one lot and also buy 17850 call one lot then sell two lot of uh, 17750 call so once you uh, buy 17650 call and 17850 call then you need to sell two lots of 17750 call and uh, the premium whatever that we are seeing this may definitely vary once the market opens based on the uh, trend in the market even but even then you can implement this strategy and here you'll be having the probability of profit is 20.77 percent the max profit that you can expect from this single lot of this strategy will be 12.65% and uh, 4,545. So the max loss, if you are not doing any adjustments in this strategy, then you may uh, tend to lose 405 rupees. And if we observe the max uh, risk to reward ratio here, this is uh, 1 is to 11.22. So this is a very good uh, risk to reward. So uh, even a novice option trader can definitely uh, try and follow this the strategy here and he this uh, strategy with a single lot he can make a profit of around 4545 or maximum he may lose around 405 rupees if he is not if he or uh, she is not doing any adjustments in this strategy so the estimated uh, margin or premium required for one lot will be around 35931 rupees so the advantage of this strategy suppose if uh, the nifty uh, will be trading uh, above uh, 18,000 levels or even uh, 17,595 levels you'll be you will tend to make only a loss of around 405 rupees but with the uh, the theta decay even you may not be making these losses as i understand but only we need to wait for the uh, completion of this weekly expiry only then i'll be able to show you the exact profit or loss from this strategy but uh, but even otherwise the max loss will be in, we should not cross above rupees 405 so the break even for this strategy will be 17659 levels on the lower side so this is the 17659 levels on the upper side it is 17841 levels so this is a 17841 level so if nifty future crosses this level only then you tend to uh, make loss so it is not the actual uh, loss here due to because we'll be having the theta decay every day we'll be uh, gaining with the theta decay so you may even uh, tend to make a zero loss from this strategy if market is going anywhere uh, below 17,000 or above 18,300 levels or 18,500 levels so this is the first 
Nifty uh, weekly option strategy for 13th of April 2022. So my second uh, strategy is, so this is uh, something similar to the uh, covered put, the modified covered put, I, can, I will call this as a modified co power, the covered put here because uh, in this strategy, to implement this strategy, first thing is we are going to buy 17,900 put because this is a, uh, so right now the nifty is trading at 17,900 levels. So considering these levels, we are going to buy one lot of 17,900 put one lot. So the premium is around 278 rupees and then we are going to sell two lots of 17,500 put. The, so the premium is somewhere around 140 rupees 0.80 paise. So here if we observe this strategy, if market is trading above 17,000, uh, we tend to make loss only if bank nifty is uh, crosses below 17,098 and if bank if nifty future is trading above uh, 17,900 or even say 18,900, we will not be making any losses but we will tend to make only uh, we will we'll be making only a profit of rupees 140 rupees and suppose if nifty future is trading between uh, the 17,914 or uh, 17,098 then we can make a good profit from this strategy that is around 20,000 rupees uh, 20,090 rupees from this strategy so the probability of profit is 83.15 percent max profit will be 20,090 rupees this is around 20.53 percent on your capital the max loss will be undefined so it is showing undefined because if the nifty future crosses below 17,098 only then we tend to uh, will be seeing the uh, loss in this strategy and before the right now the nifty is trading at 17,900 so it definitely need to cross these levels so once if it is trading 17,500 or say even at 17,432 here you can observe that you will be making a profit of 16,740 rupees or even uh, 12,390 rupees so you need to exit your position once if the nifty is trading between uh, above 17,098 levels or say uh, below 17,900 levels so the uh, net credit you will be getting rupees 140 and estimated margin or premium required will be around 97,859 levels. So this is for the single lot to implement this strategy. So friends, whether you have any doubt regarding this strategy, you can leave your questions so that I can clarify your doubts. You can also practice this strategy by using the Opstra or Sensible. You can implement this strategy and you can see the results uh, till the weekly expiry. So friends, suppose if you are new to the upstocks, I'll show you how you can add the uh, options here and how do you uh, buy or sell the, uh, how you can easily implement this strategy from your upstocks demat account. Also, if you are not opened the upstocks demat account, you'll be having the link in the description of this video. So you can quickly open uh, the upstocks or any of the top uh, stock brokers demat account directly from the link available in the description of this video so once you come to the uh, website login.upstocks.com once you type this the website url then you'll be coming to this uh, upstocks uh, dashboard the login here so here you need to provide the uh, six digit pin here so i'll be entering the uh, pin here so once we have uh, entered the pin details we can directly log in here so suppose if you are doing the first time login you may need to provide your user id the password and your date of birth uh, then uh, you need to generate your uh, the six digit pin code and you need to enter it here so all that you have to do is first you need to create a watch list here to create a watch list all that you have to do is click on this create new watch list so once you click on this watch list you can just name it as uh, fno uh, options i have just given an example name here fno options once you click on this uh, button so here we have created the watch list now we need to add a script here to add the script we will be selecting the uh, nifty here then we'll be selecting the future so here it is showing us by default uh, the uh, april month contract and we are going to add this first then we are going to implement 
the strategy so the first one will be the nifty uh, long call butterfly 13th of april 2022 the weekly expiry strategy first we are going to add 17650 call 17850 call and 17750 call so if we here we are going to click on this uh, the plus icon this is with the uh, blue highlighted color here so we here we are going to enter 17750 before that we are going to add nifty 17750 strike price then we are going to select the call and click add here once we click we are going to see the 17750 call so then we need to add 17650 call here so we can add 17650 call here so the third uh, strike price we are going to add will be 17850 call so here we can directly change with the 17850 call yes we have successfully added the all the three strike prices so the first important thing is first thing is we are going to first thing is we are going to buy 17650 call 17850 call so to buy the 17650 call or say 17850 uh, call 17650 call and 17850 call so all that we have to do is we just need to click on this 17650 call this symbol info once you click here on the right hand side you will be able to see the hours price or the bid price so i i will suggest that you just click on this the bid price whatever is the uh, best uh, the top price available here the premium available just click on this then you will be entering you will come into this uh, pop-up screen the buy or sell then you here you need to leave uh, by default it is showing us 50 so you don't have to change this because we will be trading with the one lot so the next step you, we are going to change from intraday to delivery and just leave this complexity as simple and here you can click the by default you can leave it as the uh, limit here change from market to limit if it is showing us market then then changes to limit and you then whatever is the price available it will be uh, displayed here then you need to click on review by order then you can click on to place the buy order so similarly how we can do the uh, short selling of the options so here in this case we are going to sell uh, 17,750 call so here we have the 17,750 call once again we are going to click on the symbol info so once we click on this now we are going to uh, click on the ask price side so it's right now it is showing as 183 uh, premium here we are going to click on this the right side so once we click here it is showing us we are going to sell the strategy so always remember before you are implementing the strategy first you need to buy the hedging positions so once you buy the hedging positions you you will be required a lower premium also your uh, the you'll be having a very limited uh, risk here because will be uh, the hedging positions is already active in the strategy so once again we are not going to change the quantity here and the product we are going to change from intraday to delivery and complexity leave it as simple so order type you will leave it to limit don't change this to the market because once you click on the market whatever is the uh, price available that by default it will consider that value and you may tend to uh, buy with the higher uh, premium so the price by default it is set as 183 rupees because we have selected to sell at 183 i'm just giving this example you can do the same thing when the market is live you can do this uh, to implement this strategy so after you have entered all this information validity you can by default it is showing as day and you can just leave it as it is then you need to click on review sell order so here it is showing us the uh, final uh, confirmation box here you need to confirm the complexity as simple validity as day side is sell we are going to do the short selling here and the order type is limit product is delivery we are going to carry forward this position quantity is 50 and the price that we are expecting to sell it will be 183 rupees so once you have confirmed all these things then you are going to click on this place sell order when you click on this the place sell order the it will be your order will be executed whether the buying or selling so this is a way best way or the simplest method you can 
uh, add the script and buy or sell the options in the upstream in the upstocks uh, platform say suppose if you have not opened the demat account from the upstocks you'll be having a link in the description of this video you can easily click on the link and open a demat account from your smartphone please let me know if you have any doubts in all the process i have explained in this video so friends thank you for watching this video please like this video share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel you'll be having the uh, updates and the option strategies for the weekly levels and all the other important uh, information to become a successful uh, trader in the indian stock market